Do you get pain when kneeling on your knee? If you get pain when kneeling, then this video is for you. I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips to kneel on your knee more comfortably, even if you have knee pain or have knee arthritis. Now, if you find this video helpful, give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. So first of all, what causes pain in your knee when you're kneeling? Well, what happens when you kneel is that your kneecap gets compressed up against your thigh bone and there's cartilage on the back of your kneecap. Now, the more pressure you put of your kneecap on your thigh bone, then the more compression there is. Now, if you have knee arthritis and you have a little bit of cartilage loss, then that's gonna compress the knee joint up against the, the kneecap, up against the thigh. And there's less cartilage there to begin with, so it can create a little bit more irritation. Now, another common question people have about kneeling is, can I kneel after I have a knee replacement? And the answer to that is yes. Now, if you're a few weeks out of a knee replacement, if your scar is fresh, if you're within the first month, kneeling is probably not gonna be especially comfortable. And in the first week or two, it's absolutely contraindicated. But once you're you know, six weeks, eight weeks, three months, a year after kneeling, some people are still afraid to kneel on their knee after they've had a knee replacement. And there's absolutely no reason to be afraid of it. Now, first of all, after several months, that knee replacement is really solid. It's not gonna come out of place. Now you do most of the time still have your natural kneecap. They don't usually replace that even in a total knee replacement. So you still might have arthritis on the back of your kneecap, even after having a knee replacement. And so you can still get some pain when that kneecap compresses on the new thigh bone or the joint replacement. So the same tips, the same stretching tips that I give you in the rest of this video will apply, but just know it's absolutely safe and normal to be able to kneel on your knee after knee replacement. Now, most people think that when you kneel on your knee, that the pressure of your kneecap on the floor is actually what's causing the pain. But if you think about the way that you actually kneel, the part that touches the floor is actually what's called your tibia, your lower leg bone, and the bump where your tendon or patellar tendon attaches to the kneecap. So you're not actually kneeling on the kneecap unless you're kneeling way far forward on your kneecaps like that. If you're kneeling like most people normally kneel, you're actually kneeling on your tibia. So why does that create kneecap pain when you're kneeling? Well, what happens when you bend your knee? Your kneecap actually sits inside your thigh muscles and it sits in the tendon of that patellar tendon. So the more you bend your knee, the more that muscle gets stretched and the more compression it puts of the kneecap on the thigh bone. Now, when you bend your knee a lot, if you don't have good flexibility in your thighs, it's gonna create more compression. So stretching your thigh muscles is one easy way to help prevent knee pain when you're kneeling. Now, the obvious choice is to avoid kneeling when it's possible. If you don't have to kneel, for example, when you're gardening, bringing out a garden stool so you can sit on the garden stool without having to kneel. Or kneeling on surfaces that aren't quite so hard, so you don't have the pressure of your tibial tuberosity on the hard ground. Kneeling on a garden pad or buying some of those big puffy volleyball kneecaps can help pad your knee so that there's not so much compression of the tibia on the ground. So if you have trouble particularly kneeling on hard surfaces, that's something that can help. Now, if it doesn't really matter the surface, then here are a couple other things. Like I said, the flexibility of your thigh muscles has a lot to do with how much pressure there is of the kneecap on the thigh bone. So improving the flexibility of your thigh muscles can help. If you have trouble kneeling on your knee, um, kneeling down on your, thigh, on your knee to do like a typical hip flexor or quad stretch like that might be slightly painful. If you have more trouble and you can put a pillow on your knee so that you're not getting so much pressure, you can stretch like that. But sometimes even that's painful. And I do have a whole video devoted to this type of stretch, which I'll link to in this video. But if you can put pressure on both knees, you don't have your full body weight on one knee, you just have the pressure half on this one and half on that one. So it distributes the weight a little bit more evenly. Additionally, if you try to keep the laces of your shoes on the ground or the tops of your feet on the ground, it will help you not put so much pressure on your knees. Now, one easy way to improve your flexibility in kneeling is to start from a kneeling position like this and then just rock back a little bit like that. 
So you're stretching out the thigh muscles. And then come back up and just go back as far as you can comfortably without creating knee pain in the front of your knee. Now, if you get knee pain in the back of your knee when you're kneeling, that's a little bit different problem. And there are a few things that can cause that. It can be from a meniscus tear, it can be from some arthritis, um, but the, another thing it can be is from the little bone in your leg, the fibula, a little tiny bone that runs down this way. There's a joint right behind the knee. And oftentimes if that joint is stuck or stiff, it'll create pain in the back of the knee when you go to, into really far bending positions like that. So if you take a little towel and put it in the back of your knee joint, and then do sort of that same thing. Kneel and rock back onto your knees like that. Rock back onto your knees like that. It mobilizes that fibula joint, and it also kind of helps provide a cushion in the back of the knee, so you don't get so much pain as you're rocking back. Now, let's say that you have really bad knee pain and you can't even kneel on a pillow. Well, another option would be to do sort of a similar stretch with your foot up on a chair. So put your foot up like that, and then rock forward, rock forward, rock forward. And that helps stretch your thigh muscles. If you have pain in the back of your knee, you can just take that towel and put that in the back of your knee. And again, sort of rock forward, rock forward, rock forward. So those are some options to stretch out your thigh muscles. Now there is one thigh muscle, your, they call it your rectus femoris. It actually crosses both your hip and your knee. And to stretch that muscle, one way is to kneel like I showed you before. But again, if you have trouble doing that, there's a whole other video on how to do that. An additional way you can do it is to sit in a chair, drop one leg off the side like that. It can't be an armchair, it has to be one where you can sit sort of on the side of it and just stretch that way so that you get sort of that same stretch like you're doing there without actually kneeling and putting pressure on your knee. So I hope you found those tips helpful. If you do need some more help kneeling, then feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to help. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like or a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks and have a great day.